5 Minutes in Theory. Today's topic, Orientalism. In order to represent on the discourse, I have brought in as a special guest an Oriental in the flesh. Orientalism is a theory, not that all the Eurocentric discourse on the areas identified as the Orient are in themselves false, but instead that due to the subjects themselves which have built the academic framework of the discourse about or around the Orient are infused with the unconscious political bias that is inherent in all individuals. As Said said, no one has ever devised a method for detaching the scholar from the circumstances of life. So what was one of these occidental amalgamies of Orientalism Said was concerned with? Introducing Charlie Chan, world famous detective and cash cow of the 1930s to the now 20th century Fox production company. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me as president of the Chamber of Commerce to welcome our illustrious guest, the famous Charlie Chan. From the dinner scene in this Charlie Chan in the Shanghai, you can clearly see that the actor is not even oriental. Observe, Charlie doesn't look like me, nor like his son, nor like the romantic and mysterious oriental character speaking Chinese. <laughs> He looks more like me. Born in Sweden, Warner Oland, originally Johan, immigrated to the United States and became a theater actor, until being cast as the mild-mannered ideal of the model minority in Charlie Chan movies. Doshi. 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 Uh, what does all that mean? He said, thank you so much. Here you see his non-threatening posture and submissive demeanor, which is a symbolic depiction of the Oriental from the Occidental established discourse viewpoint. Said had elaborated on this, understood and represented discourse of Orientals by claiming that when studying Orientalism as a European or an American, he comes up against the Orient as a European or American first, not as an individual which means, or meant, being aware, however dimly, that one belongs to a power that has definite interests in the Orient. And now we are fortunate in having with us our old friend, Sir Stanley Whitman, who has a few words to say on our behalf. And here is our Eurocentric white man, presenting an ancient Chinese scroll in a priceless jade box, because as a re representative of the pure knowledge seeker. He has the utmost and highest respect for the oriental cultures. So here he is, awarding Chan with an heirloom that originally belonged to his people in the first place. Fashioned who knows by the hands of your ancestors. May I read it to you? Please. So what we have seen here is that in Said's view is that Orientalism is a representation of European Atlantic power over the Orient, more than it is a discourse about the Orient itself, portrayed by framing the power of political, the power of intellectual, power culture, and power of the moral. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast.